Welcome to the Dungeon Studios in Montreal, Quebec. I'm here with the one and only Mr. Richard Baxter. Say hello, Richard. Hi, everyone. We're going to take a little uh, trip and teleport here to someplace special, so stay tuned. Bam! Here we are. Guess where we're at? Morin Heights, Quebec. We're out here in the studio here in uh, late June 2015. Again, here we are with Mr. Richard Baxter and his uh, Kickstarter campaign, Make you which we're going to speak about. That's what we wanted to talk to him about. But uh, it'd be, I thought it was great because we could actually have an opportunity to do it here on site. So, heck, let's do it. Yes. So you put this up online, what, about a month ago? Was it like, or maybe week 25, week 27 days ago. But I he, know, he knows he counts the days like a baby's coming. How many um, press places, like papers, and tell us about the, the response you've gotten from television and newspaper? In, in it was pretty good. Um, the uh, Montreal Journal de Montréal and other uh, papers and radios and TV, and they, they want the story, you know, and uh, they, they disturb Andre a lot because. All those papers. Uh, oh, they were calling Andre, Andre Perry a lot for oh, his yeah. comments. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, Andre, you know, he, he got a bit tired of the calls, I believe. You know. <laughs> but you didn't get tired of the calls. Well, or did you? Were they too much? No, no, because you know I wanted the exposure, and right? Everything and uh, uh, you know, because uh, this place really uh, means something to me, you know, and a lot of others too. But, yeah. You know. Me included. Yes. Now we can walk while we talk, so let's sure, talk. Sure. So, uh, what were some of the, the papers were what? I think you mentioned to me the, the Montreal Gazette uh, was one of them. Or are they about to? They're, they're in a week, about a week. Right. They're going to do a nice story and everything. So They already did a story about my drumming and everything. Right. So that's good. Now just recently, we should bring it up since it just happened, as I put a video up on the channel of, uh, last week, um, there was this auction. Remember? Oh, yes. Now you well, didn't like the sound of this auction. Well, it, it, for it, the campaign, it, it screwed you know, things up. Yeah, yeah it confused yeah. a lot of people, didn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. They, they all even think that auction has still been going on, but for eighteen thousand, I don't know. You know. Yeah, it was kind of mis. It was a kind of a, a mistake. Yeah, they, they didn't yeah. have the story right. It was yeah. it was it was a potential. Don't get me wrong. It was possible that it might have went up for auction for eighteen thousand. Well, we 000. know. We all know. Yeah, we knew that it was a farce because. The owners do come and pay the taxes off for the for the building. So well, it's two twenty five uh, hundred acres. Yeah, two hundred twenty five uh, yeah. acres. So that's not a lot of land. It could worth a lot of money. You know? Right. So it's what brought what brought your passion for for this place? Long Just time ago. Well, I'm a good friend of Jerry Mercer of April Wine, and uh, since I'm eighteen, so eighteen, eighteen years old, I met Jerry and. I saw his son, he, he's like this now. Yeah. You know, he was you know, a little kid, you know? And, uh, well, Jerry, I, I knew about the studio because he recorded here. Right. And that was in the 80s when, you know, and I heard a lot of stories that people went up here and there was a dog ex escorting them to their cars because they didn't belong, belong here. So right. the, the dog was doing his job. The watchdog, he, yeah. Well, he, he wasn't, he wasn't, uh, he was trained just to bring the people back to their car. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he took his nose there, and uh, uh -huh. you go back, or uh, I'll be more uh, aggressive. Aggressive, yeah. you know. So he was a good dog. He showed him the way. Was that Andre Perry's dog? I believe so. It's, it was part of the studio because it must he, have been. Yeah, he was trained to bring because my friends they, they they came up here in maybe in the eighties when Russ was recording, and that that's what the dog did. Right. I heard the story, and he, right. that guy's you know he's. Yeah, yeah. It's true for you know? no, oh, no, I believe it. I think, I think that's probably the German Shepherd we see at the beginning of that's, the that's Rush the one. That's, that's the one. Yeah, because Absolutely. he was quite uh, quite active out here. All right. Well, we'll continue walking here, folks, because the building is uh, is quite large and uh, and pretty much de de demolished. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take we're going to see a lot of that as we go. It seems uh, you can see, folks, that the debris now is getting worse and worse. I mean. 
you know, it's 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 a miracle that the people of this one is leaking. Yeah, people have left the glass alone, but uh, of course, just Mother Nature is taking her toll, isn't yeah, she? She changed that one. Yeah, sure. we've got a, definitely a broken seal on this one. Oh, yeah. yeah, full of. Uh, but this one looks good though. But there's one here up there. That's. That yeah, there's another one. Uh, this that's, is the old skylight that's leaking too. over the uh, the rock garden here. That's leaking as well, though. Yeah, and there's a lot of water damage coming down through there, so it's it's amazing. All the seals are starting to break. Uh, but that wall's still good, though. That's a good wall. Yeah. yeah. And 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 going back to the you know that brings us back. We can walk the the, the Kickstarter that uh, the dream or the vision that you have for the. Uh, if, if something was possible, um, would be to see all of this repaired, right? To yeah, be, yeah. The goal is, would be to restore, not to demolish or... No, no, no. It's, it's history here. It's all history. You know, I don't want to idolize it because that's not my, my, my thing. I think it's worth fixing. Modern. Yeah, it could live, it could live sort of another kind of a life. Yeah. Like another 20 years. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's a good building. It was made solid, for sure. Yeah. Just it needs it needs work. And, and you can fast. see. Yeah, because you can see that the different phases it went through. Like up here, you can see that this ceiling alone was, it was finished wood. It's also been in its lifetime a gray color, as seen here by this strip, and it's then it's been painted over in the sky blue. <laughs> And you know, and I guess it did the 70s, 80s, and 90s all had different uh, sort of design motifs. Yeah, and this one was black, and uh, in April one did you work with? That's that. That's right. Yeah, I think it was black. This one. Well, it's obvious that at, it all started beautiful finished wood. Oh, that's nice. It looks like they just one. yeah they just slapped white mm. primer over it by the look of it because it doesn't even look like quality white paint. Could, could that be sad? Yes. Oh sure, why? It's kind of like it, to me. It's like wood floor on the ceilings. Yeah, all those are di all those are separate shiny, planks. Yeah, yeah. it's just nice. It's very nice. Yeah. It's a shame. It you know it, it's it's like this. It's like a disco era. You know, it it, it went through the seventies and eighties, so it ended up being. But uh, well, that's nice. It's like a defaced church. by the paint. Yeah, it's like a church. Uh, yeah, design like like in the studio. So if you. Uh, in a dream world, if, if, if a miracle happened, like you told me earlier today in our private conversations, and something like uh, 2.4 million dropped on your doorstep, mm, what, what would be some of the things? If you, you had a lot of. Uh, it wasn't just to be a. It wasn't just a recording studio. To you, had a lot of other ideas you described. Me, could you say? Well, it, 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 first, it's the, the money is to re repair the building. That's the first thing. You know, you have to do the plumbing, uh, the roof, electric. Not right away. You just you have to you bring in a generator and you fix the right, plumbing right. first. Make yeah. sure you got water running, and then you do the the roof right away. Start the roof right away right. because that's all the leaking. Then you're yeah. okay. Then yeah. you're okay. Then you save the building. Right. If you can do those two things, you're okay. <clears throat> After um, you have to clean up, you know, demolish what you need. Yeah. And do your designs and uh, make the washrooms. Mm -hmm. And then that, that's uh, after that it's easy. It's yeah, it's you know, just it, filling it in. And way. solar system, I would go all solar right, system. Right, you were mentioning that to me. You had you had the ideas you know, of, of the yeah, next wave wave of energy. Yeah, the, the size of this building and um, the electric costs now with these days, you got to pay two thousand a month for for what? You know? Yeah. Did, did they, the best thing is that's how much a year. That's twenty-four thousand. So if you put fifty thousand in two years with the uh, solar system, you fix downstairs or whatever. Mm -hmm. You put your batteries, and it's modern. So, yeah. and now you're self uh, self-sustaining. Yeah. 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 So there's no cost. No, that's, so, a, that's so, an interesting way of looking at it. Yeah. There's no cost after. Yeah. So so. And you make money if you, you you send it back in the grid. Back to the grid, right? So yeah. you know you get a lot of batteries, and you got so much room down there. It's, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, we broke some new ground today, folks. We went down into some rooms and, and areas that were so dark before that didn't even know that they went that that far. <laughs> and these these places go all the way down yeah. underneath the studio. Yeah, the the actual audio studio had a 
Well, that is a basement, essentially. Well, we can't see, we can't film that. It's dark on there. Yeah. It's very <laughs> we'll take dark. some pictures. We'll we'll float them over the screen if, if they're applicable. A lot, of work, nice. a lot of work there. Yeah, it's. Okay. Uh, but a good thing, because of that Kickstarter, there's about 40, 50, 60 people writing to me, electricians, plumbers, and uh, carpenters, and they all want to come down and help. So that, yeah, that's yeah. good. That that's was another good. idea, the sweat equity that could be donated, literally, to... Uh, they don't to want to give on, online, but they want to help, <laughs> but... Yeah. <laughs> Use their skill. Let, yeah. Let's come and all work, but it's not our building. It's not yeah. too good. <laughs> right. You know, if we would restore the studio, I wouldn't uh, charge a lot of money. It's self-sustained anyway. Right. So you, you just make the place affordable, and uh, you know, because studios are not making a lot of money. But that's not the the, the thing you want to do. You want to make a recording school. You want to turn this place into a museum. A resort for musicians to meet, uh, a CD release place, you know. You Throw it. parties. Yeah. Not too, not too much, but VIPs. Right. You know, not 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 to for for like a bar or something. No, no, no. no, no. It's right. a museum. It's uh, you respect the place. You know, the Andre is place, and uh, you respect what what went on here. The history. The history. Yeah. yeah. You preserve the history for a while. You know, it would be worth. Oh it. yeah. You know, like like the lake too. It's all like there's a bacteria in the lake, and the, the filter has not been working for five years. If somebody has to turn on the machine, and if it's solar system, well, right. everything will be back to normal. Yeah. In, in some time. Put some life in it. Yeah. Yeah, it takes time though. Yeah. Well, let's go into uh, to the let's the, go into the studio the studio studio <coughs> temple of sound <laughs> temple of sound. We'll we'll go in here and. Uh, have a look. Unfortunately, we'll warn you now. Oh, we'll, we'll stop. Look at the windows here first. Yeah, it, it's such a beautiful day today. We got to look around a little more. I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to rush it. Pardon the pun. But uh, yeah, these and a lot of these windows have broken seals too, as you can see the um, have to change the moisture inside. But they can be changed, right? The the, the build of the. The, the sills solid. and everything are, are, are all still very, you know, solid. solid. Yeah, solid building. Yeah, it's 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 Seems not got solid. the rot that one might think. Now, yes, there is some peeling paint and so on, but that's mostly from the moisture running off the glass. It's, it's not, not. If people, uh, hundred people come here and, and restore it, huh, I tell you, it's going to go fast. It yeah. could go fast. It's a lot of work. Yes, a lot of work. But yep. strengths come in numbers. Yeah, you know, like you say, if a hundred people attacked it at different times, yeah. it, uh, it, it, it it's like a Kickstarter too. If twenty-four thousand people would believe, and they put a hundred dollars, it's yeah. strength in numbers. It's the power of the people. Yeah, you know why depend on rush or whatever. You know, you, you make it for them. Right. You know, like a, a welcoming. Um, you know, for the people that pass here, you, you make you turn this place into. Kind of museum, or mm -hmm. you know, uh, like Andre wanted to do, you know, like a, a school for recording. Put it to good use, right? Not to this. Yeah, this is terrible, you know. Yeah, it, it is. That's, a shame. that's bad. That's yeah. bad. Uh, me, I will never let that place go like that. Right. No way. You know? And let's see how bad it is, folks, because in here, as you'll see, there's been some unfortunate damage since the last time. We shot some footage here and took pictures, at least ourselves. A lot of people have been here after us, uh, and even recently, and took pictures. But here, standing in the control room, I know it's a little dark, but maybe you can see that, unfortunately, the big grand control room window oh, that's that, so shame. Yeah, has been uh, attacked by someone. And this isn't... Uh, this isn't your typical glass, folks. This is uh, approximately half inch thick glass and double paned. And there's two two pieces. Yeah, two with pieces. An space. Yeah, there was a, a, a dead space Which, in between. But it uh, it was meant to be a barrier between the control room and the uh, and the actual studio. But these ones are okay. Yeah, over there it's okay. But someone got at these and really and, and broke both pieces, front and back, were hit. And you can see the, the two intact points. One was here on the inside and over here on the outside. 
But the only good point it is for this one, one of my friend mentioned it, is we can bring an SSL in through there. Yeah, so that's it. And put back the glass, so that yeah. would be good, <laughs> in, a, in a way, you know, but, but it, it, it's very a shame to be like the, what, what he did there. Yeah, let's look at it from this side. I it's it's just a little dark in here, I think it's a better view. I don't know why they did this. Yeah. I think we'll take a look. Um, see the floor here, look, we're... It's, it's bad. That was the, uh, that spot there was the, uh, the patch bay. That's it. For your, so, uh, your inputs into the, uh, into the, into the booth. Now in here, the, the, the ceilings, uh, are, are pristine, but they're, they're not, I mean, these look enamel or, or stained here, but they're not slapped over in cheap latex paint like in the rest of the building. And here, they're on touch. This is the nicest studio room I ever heard in my life. And I've been to many studios. This, this room is like, I don't know, you feel the vibes here? I always do. Every time, I, I've not been here often, but every time I'm here, I'm, here, I'm not as much of a, a, a worshiping person, but I, the, the, you can feel the whatever, you, the ghosts, Something I guess. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, there, there's a personality in these walls that, um, but it's true that really you can't worship something. It's not good. You idolize or there's only one, you know. Yeah. And it's not that we're trying to make the building into some uh, you know holy figure. It's it's more practical, isn't it? It's more to 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 have magic created here again by artists that want to yeah. and not just let it rot into the forest floor. Yeah. You know, it's it's almost it's a rescue mission. <laughs> if yeah, any, yes, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, it's not it's yeah. not a it's not a heroic mission in a way to create some some braggartly place to. No. It's it's literally to kind of stop the decay from, like cavity prevention. <laughs> when you brush your teeth, yeah. someone needs to brush the studio's teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, now there's an analogy, folks. You like that one? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, yeah oh, but yeah. that's kind of where we're at. We're yeah. Like, it's rotting and yes. getting cavities. It needs many root canals. Oh yeah, I'll, money. I'll stop with it now, the analogy. But yeah, it's it's gonna need it if it's going to live. Um, a lot of work, lots of work. Because would you agree with me, if, if it doesn't get that, it's only fate is really demolition because it's not, oh, if this oh, is gonna yeah. continue oh, downward, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not going to be, I know the original thing well, look was. look at the lake, there's a, it's a beautiful lake. It's, well, oh, the whole setting is serene, know. yeah. The but trees have gotten bigger, you know, and they, they continue to. Um, but, you know, just foliage control and doing some landscaping would make this view, again, very, very nice. majestic, yeah. What a beautiful place. It's calm today. Sometimes I, I, I went here and it's so... Uh, Ripply, yeah, 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 the ripples, yeah. yeah. It's like uh, very active, it's very calm today. So let's let's conclude. If if we were to say our final words to the viewing public on the La Studio channel, what's sort of the to put the message in a nutshell of everything we just spoke about in the last twenty minutes or so? What what would you say? You mean like the Kickstarter? Well, yeah, like the, or, everything. Or the old thing. The whole well, the whole hope. I I am hoping that someone uh, will take this uh, project seriously, you know, like because it's uh, it's a uh, people. Uh, it's not going to be, thing. yeah, it can't be just one man. No. You need help. You know, we all need help. You know, yeah. A team could, and, uh, yeah. A team could do it, you know. And then turn it into a museum and uh, a resort for musician, helping musician again. You know, right. To, um, you don't charge much. You can record a really good album because it'll, oh. it'll be world class. The great you sounding know. room. There's no, no question it's, about that. It's, it'll be world class and you get the guys that work here before. You know, if they're not uh, too busy, or or people who want just to rent the place, like uh, for a month or whatever, mm -hmm. you you make it happen, right? Because you know? it's this is the place. It's the place to be. It's the best place to start. Best place to stop. Like Dio would say. Yeah. <laughs> Can't put it better than that. All right, Richard. <laughs> Thank sure. you. Hey, sure, Kevin. We'll see you again, yeah, yeah. and uh, that concludes our on-site interview with Mr. Richard Baxter of Montreal, Quebec.